recording with an external microphone. Some call it a lavalier. Others don't. Oh, man. You guys probably can't hear the cat in the background, but well, uh, Blacko is meowing, trying to get outside, but she's just gonna eat the grass and throw up and then just walk around the dirt acting scared. It's kind of all that she does. But regardless, my name is Stephen French. This is God's Autobiography, episode 30 something. Uh, don't have internet, so I haven't been making um, thumbnails on my laptop because then I can't upload it from the laptop. I don't feel like putting it on the phone. That doesn't matter. I don't really know what to talk about today. Well, I kind of do. Uh, kind of my, my plan, um, and I don't really have much of one, so there was no preparation for this video. I am Stephen French. Uh, some of these videos have gotten very few views, which was more views than I expected, so go me. Um, I'm kind of just making these, as I've kind of stated in the first video, to get in the habit of, of recording every day, just something small, get in the habit of releasing or ex uploading, exporting every day, something small, just kind of building a routine. And I figured 100 is a pretty good number to do that. Um, I'm loving the process so far. I, I need to, it's like it's getting to the point where I need to start dedicating more time to this. Maybe start shifting my focus into creating content that people might actually want to see. Uh, that, that kind of is the goal. But this is part of, or hopefully like a, an additional helping piece to some of the plans that I have. Uh, again, not very many. I'm in Arizona right now. As some of the stories in this series have already told, I've traveled a bunch. I grew up all over the place. Um, my parents were married for 16 years and lived in 15 different houses. They split around the time I was 11, so I'd already lived in about as many places. Um, I just kind of grew up moving all over the place, as did my older sister, as did my older brother. Um, Kelly being the, the oldest of, I guess, this little pseudo-nuclear family at the time, she uh, spent pretty much her whole, her whole life until the parents split. Oh, I guess we all did, but she was older, so she experienced a longer duration of this chaotic moving. And what it seems to have done for her is she's not thrilled to, to move. She's not eager about like uplifting and going somewhere, but she knows she can do it. She's tough as fuck. She, uh, if something happens, she's like, well, we're packing again. It's just, it's one more. Like that number was already unreasonably big, unreasonably big. One, one addition to it isn't gonna do any difference. That's pretty cool. That, that gives her a lot of opportunity and it gives her a lot of strength. My brother, he, I don't know, maybe he was, uh, he experienced like his younger ages at the, the later portion relative to Kelly of like all of this traveling all this moving around mostly between New York and Texas and I don't know maybe he kept a little bit of that that childhood ambition that that desire to to keep going or something because he's continued to travel quite a bit he's, he stays um, relatively still up in upstate New York but he's gone off to Europe several times like he goes there once a year most years at least um, he still has that, that travel bug and that desire. Not fully nomadic, but he wants to see, he wants to explore. And what I think what happened with me is, I, I don't know what happened in the years, well, one before I was born, obviously, but even like at this, like the really early stages, I, I do remember moving a lot. Uh, but how I kind of took it, and I'm kind of the only one that I can really attest to with accuracy, is I, I kind of enjoy it. I kind of like moving, or rather I, I don't like not moving. Um, if I'm in a house for too long, I change rooms that I sleep in. I rearrange the room that I'm in if it, it becomes like, if it looks the same for too long. I, I want to see everything. I have some, some grand desires to go places, but I have no luxurious taste. Um, I've filled my resume with a shit ton of little jobs here and there, positions that hopefully can can handle, well, they can all handle it, but they can handle it easier to have a, an employee come and go. I'm always open about my employers about when I leave, I give huge notices before I do. If I'm getting hired and I'm leaving shortly, I tell them, which, as I've said before, makes it potentially harder to get hired, but I accept that challenge because honesty matters a bit more to me. Um, as far as planning, I was supposed to backpack Europe 
last year and that got pushed, well, I guess this year, uh, which I've told a lot about what happened in Colorado and all my financial issues there, that kind of pushed everything back one year. And I was originally going to stick with that, just push it back one year. But plans have shifted a little bit. I, I, I will go through Europe. That is still my plan. I don't need to yet. Um, what I want to do really, really badly right now, or this year, for, for uh, well, in the next upcoming year, see, I don't even know. I, I want to get a van. I want to move into a van. I want to turn it into my own little house. It's not going to be extravagant if I can pull this off for a few years and maybe by the end it'll be pretty nice, like solar and, uh, panels on the top. But right away, I'm going to have a bed and some cabinets, uh, some little gas stoves and some buckets of water. Not buckets, but yeah, you get it. Um, so I can like prep my own food on the road and I can survive the shit in a bucket and toss it out, I don't know. I, I wanna own as little as I can. I want my rent to be my gas mileage and I just, I wanna keep moving. I, I don't wanna stay still. And I know that that is hell on any idea of a relationship. I don't, I can't expect to find somebody who would be willing to keep up with that. Um, especially if I'm gonna be starting soon, you can't find somebody who can become attached to you soon enough to want to join you. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I've changed my, my desires for what I want in a relationship for a long time and I'm okay with, with being me. I'm very much always alone and I've learned over the past few years a way to, have, to never be lonely. I'm, I'm good in my own head. I'm comfortable in my own skin. And I'm really looking for motivation or where to put my motivation. And I really fucking like this, this video format idea. I think God's autobiography it should be my story. And I think I can tell a good story. I don't think I have a great one yet, but I need to focus on it. I need to, to I guess, turn these pages and just drop more ink. I, I don't know where I wanna go. I don't, I don't know where I'm gonna find a van. Maybe I can get it to work out where I stay here, I work, whatever jobs I can find. Maybe next year come like tax return time, I can use that to help me get a shitty van, go down to Georgia, have my dad help me convert it over. He said there's some nice vans there because they don't have any snow. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. And I've never really known what I want to do. And I've always been really excited that I don't know what I want to do. Um, I just know that I want to have as hard of a time and as fun of a time as I can finding out what that is. And I want to meet everyone that I can on the way. I want to hear people's stories. I seem to do well with communicating with people. I have a good time starting conversations. I've always thought that I was introverted. And I kind of learned a bit more about me. I uh, learned a bit more about what, what an extrovert is. And I'm kind of just an awkward extrovert, it seems. This fly likes me, at least. But I don't know, I'm lost. I am so fucking lost. And it's really, really neat. I've, I've got no clue. And that's just what today is about. I'm just kind of reflecting on that. I'm going through Craigslist, looking for more work. Uh, right now I'm coaching parkour and tumbling at a KTR, a really fun place I get to play at and I get to train. I'm rock climbing any chance that John will bring me to a mountain. Um, I don't know. For anyone to... Uh, I, I don't understand depression. I don't understand sadness. I, I know so many... Most people have more than what I have. Um, most people had not necessarily an easier start, but at least a, a more structured start than I had. And I, I, get, I get down, I've been depressed because of, of uh, betrayal and kind of chasing more of the normal dreams. But I, I feel so impervious to that. And I don't know if it's true, but I'm really happy. And I wanna find a way to tell my story. I don't know. I'm hoping that this is good practice for it. I think that's probably all I got for today. I've got some story ideas. I've got plenty of time. I could do a longer one right now. I, 
I just, I, there's so much I don't know. Oh, I didn't plan this one out. I didn't know what to talk about. I didn't say much. That's it. God's Autobiography, episode possibly 35. Uh, my name is still Stephen French. And maybe somebody will actually watch one of these. And maybe I'll learn how to make them so people will want to watch more. Cheers.